The word billet is a 16th century French term for when civilians' homes temporarily house soldiers. Today, billet families are one of the great and lasting traditions of junior hockey, providing players with a home away from home during the long season. I think the importance of having a housing family is a lot of support. Um, you know, getting that good home-cooked meal. Um, you know, when they've had a bad game, they can come home, relax, know there's no judgment. Having the support saying, it's okay, we'll get them next time. Um, housing families are just, they're, they're a rare breed. When you've housed over a dozen players like Carl and Cindy Forsberg, you pick up a few stories along the way. A friend of mine played junior hockey and I got to meet his billets years and years later and he's always stayed in touch with them and we thought that was a wonderful relationship that uh, we wanted to get involved with. I, it really is the little things I think that are the most special to me I guess. That's what you that, remember, yeah. That's what you remember and you know when they're walking out the door for the last time it's hard. <laughs> and then, then there is the occasional lost fake tooth. Yeah, 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 we've had a couple. Have you seen my fake tooth? I didn't realize there was a fake tooth. You know, just the relationship that you build with them over time and it starts out, you know, you're all kind of polite to each other and, and then pretty soon it's just normal and comfortable. While ice, not blood, bonds these unique housing families, the ties are strong indeed. Well, when the, when, when the first player we had, um, when he's leaving, and of course, he met his future wife here and won a Claret Cup here, and when he's getting emotional leaving, you know, I, that's, I'm going like, wow, this is, this is real. You know, this is, this is, this is real at uh, 20, 21 years old. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of saying goodbye. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's tough, but. Yeah. But you've built that relationship, yeah. and it doesn't stop there. It carries on through the years, so it's definitely worth it. The Forsberg's current resident, Finnish defenseman Valtteri Peronen, wouldn't change the recipe. I like all, his, all her pasta meals. Taco Tuesday, that's, okay. that's really good. I like that, too. Yeah, pre k meal, chicken rice and vegetables. I think there's nothing bad food yet, so we're doing good. In Sioux Falls, hockey is family. No more evident than Hockey Day South Dakota. Hell, he's fast. Hey, that's a trip. That's a trip. Hey. For five years, the Stampede have embraced hockey across the state as part of this annual tradition. This year's Hockey Day South Dakota was served up family style, lasting for an entire week. And what a week it was. Stampede players work with players from Brookings, Brandon Valley, and the Sioux Falls Flyers, even participating in youth games as guest coaches. Friday night, the Stampede celebrated National Hockey Mom Day, pausing to recognize a few of the real MVPs. And the team hosted a series of outdoor skates with complimentary skate rentals for the community, allowing Stampede players a chance to play the game they love alongside the next generation of Sioux Falls hockey stars. But the main course on a double helping of Hockey Day came Saturday, as local high school teams would share the premier center ice before the Stampede game later that night. The Stampede would wear special Sioux Falls Flyers jerseys, helping to raise money and honor the rich hockey tradition they're proud to be part of. Hockey is family, and family sticks with you even when you leave town. Look no further than Stampede alum and current Columbus Blue Jackets forward Cole Sullinger, who made the rare leap from the USHL straight to the NHL as an 18-year-old. No, with, with Marty there coming back um, as a coach, and he obviously had the NHL experience, and I uh, kind of knew what it took, so, I mean, you know, he pushed me and, and our whole group, and, uh, no, obviously, the you know, Sioux Falls gave me, uh, you no know, a home, and, uh, you know, if I, you know, didn't think it to play there, didn't have the opportunity to play there. Um, I'm glad I said I wouldn't be here today. So yeah, Sioux Falls was an amazing experience and uh, now has a close place in my heart. Yes, South Dakota is starting to look more and more like one big herd. A special place to share both the big moments and all the little things to make new memories from lifelong connections and find future stars. That's the stampede. One big happy hockey family.